Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dragon Ball Super, which is on episode 80. Now, after what certain information has been given in this episode, I better pray that Dragon Ball Super does not end anytime soon, because after hearing certain information, it will be really ridiculous and BS to see to it that we don't see that information come out later throughout in the future. So if anything else, I will get to that when I finish my recap and so forth, and when I get to a certain point, you know. Or I get to a certain point. But let's just get this recap started. We had to it that throughout this episode, it's just about Gohan facing against the brown, the brown or yellow wolf, whatever his name is. Because apparently, that's his second match, of course. And Gohan himself, he does have trouble in the end because he got poison in his eyes. But he eventually uses that to like find his opponent when he's making his noise. But when the, his opponent ends up flying, Gohan had no choice but to go to Super Saiyan. But it becomes a double-edged sword because the poison spreads further in his body. But Gohan does not quit and give up even after being pummeled really badly and continues to go all out. And he managed to defeat the defeat the wolf. Wolf, but he also falls too. So that becomes a like um a straight up tie. And we have to it that the Grand Priest explains that the, explains and then gives an announcement to the other universes like um. There are way too many universes in the universes, so those who loses in the tournament of power will get erased, erased. So in other cases, you're completely gone. And all of them are pretty surprised, but apparently we have to it that there are mortal levels in, involved in the in the in in the in each universe. We have to it that universe seven is the three point fourteen, you know. But when it can't, when it comes to the uh, and universe 9 is the lowest, and I mean the lowest of the mortal mortal levels, you know? And that is like, um, pretty terrible, since like, I got a feeling they will be, universe 9 will be literally erased and so forth, you know? And the true purpose of the tournament is like, um, whoever wins in the tournament of power will be the one, rem will be exempt from erasing. But, we also get some information, we also get some information that even though if everyone gets erased the angels will not be erased but we also grab this other information which i really hope we get to see in the future that universes 1 12 5 and 8 are exempt from entering the tournament because the mortal level power is over seven so i don't know what he means by over seven but seven out of what seven out of ten seven out of hundred seven out of million that is what i question about but if it's if it's just a low seven, then I guess it might be seven out of ten. But we have to it that um of course like um, we get information important information that universe seven is a three point fourteen like second bottom, and below them is freaking universe nine, which is a one point six nine I believe if I remember correctly. So that really sucks. So you could say that you know that um universe is two, three, four, six, seven, seven, nine, ten. And 11 will be participating in the tournament of power you know and and of course like um and of course like say satan is really really shocked about this and ends up fainting you know that really sucks and the next battle between goku and this other wolf who I, I think he's the leader of the pack anyway is about to clash against goku and i look forward to that match a lot so in other words you could say that um how much you could say that the world that the go the match between Gohan is just a tie. He lost, but the other guy lost too. They were both knocked out. But at the same time, we get information about like um whoever loses in the tournament of power gets erased. But we get to know that universes one, twelve, five, and eight, those four are exempt from the tournament since their mortal level power is over seven. Whatever that seven is out of what, I think it's out of ten since that's since it's a low number, but who knows? It's the seven out of what is a mystery, you know, that kind of thing. But I will say this for sure. I really hope that we get to see those universes in the future. As for the other universes, I hope I get to see their fighters to their max because they're gonna have to fight for survival and universe seven is like three point fourteen and they're at the second bottom from what the Grand Priest had said, so <laughs> I better hope that they cause they give out what they got. Otherwise, it's all hell. Because from here on out, the other universes, such as like 
two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, and eleven. <laughs> They gotta fight all out. Not to mention the mortal level power is below seven. It looks like Zeno favors both Zenos favor the mortal level that's over seven. So <laughs> oh well. But if they, if those four tournaments were actually competing against each other, oh dear lord. <laughs> It'll be the extermination of like of the other eight universes already, except for the four. But one of those four will have to battle out to the death. But at the same time, I question though, what is the rankings of all the universes, you know? Like from mortal level power. I know the four universes are like um, over are over seven mortal level power, but the only question is, how's it, what's the ranking system is like? Like, is it universe one? And like, for example, is it uni is universe one in the first place and universe 12? 12 and third place and universe 5 in second place and universe 8 are they in fourth place you know that kind of thing and i wonder about the ranking system about the other mortal of the other universes too because um we all know that those universes are below seven <laughs> so it's gonna be troublesome for universe seven if they don't grab the strongest fighters <laughs> that's all i can say but if Universe 7 survives, which I think they will anyway, um, the Tournament of Power, then one thing for sure is like, um, I question, will we see the fighters of Universes 1, 12, 5, and 8 in the future of Dragon Ball Super? Because one thing for sure, on the final episode of Dragon Ball Z of the finale, t one whole decade has passed before before like um, Goku faces up against Ooh, and there's no denying that so we might have a chance to see them although my question is how many years have been passed in Dragon Ball Super that's my question that's the only thing I can say people I'm sorry for my recap being very long especially with me rambling on about the universes universes and so forth because I'm really concerned about like um I hope that we get to see universe 1, 12, 5, and 8 in the future, you know? So if anything else, that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye.